so I was thinking, what would it be helpful for a statist to do to no longer be a statist, to no longer, you know, support the method of authority, which is basically the right or privilege or moral place for people to rule over other people. What what gets a person to just stop believing in that? Well, I think what would be helpful is if status took a detoxify approach to no longer being status, like a political detoxification. How, how do you, you know, to like release yourself from politics and get it out of your system, so to speak. You know, how do you do that? Well, first off, I'd start with taking a step back from politics and really trying to analyze what's going on and whether politics has really helped or not with all these social issues, world issues, what have you. I take a step back and start analyzing. Has, has what these politicians say would help, has really been helping? Have, have the politicians and their policies really helped with poverty? Have they really helped with crime? Have they really helped with economics? Have they really helped with foreign policy? Have they really helped with like police conduct? You know, law enforcement? You know, what have the politicians, what has what the politicians been doing really helped? Has it really helped? I mean, the answer is no, obviously, but I think it's best they just really analyze it for themselves. Rather than just hearing someone go, oh, statism is bad. I mean, you know, real, they need to kind of like figure it out for themselves or learn for themselves how it's not good to have a government. So I think it'd be nice. I think you could start by stepping back. If you're a statist, I think you could start by stepping back and really trying to learn about all these solutions the politicians have proposed and run to the issues of society. Another thing I think people could do to politically detoxify themselves is to stop voting, because voting doesn't work, it's just a scam made to keep the ruling class in power. Because if they don't win elections, they don't get to roll over you and take your money while doing it. They don't get to do it anymore, because hey, they lost the election, someone else does it. But if you don't even have elections, then how are they even able to get into power other than brute force, you know, in order to roll over people and get paid. Elections help try and, you know, legitimize government, like, act like, hey, you have a voice. And obviously you really don't, since the politicians do whatever the fuck they want. Regardless of votes or morality or pragmatism, they just do what they want. And remember, you're only able to vote for what's on the ballot. If it's not on the ballot, you don't get the vote to, like, affect it. You know, I heard, like, for example, there's lots of people that get elected in the government, elected in the government that aren't even really voted on. Like, I heard, like, people that work for the Federal Reserve, or the higher-ups in the Federal Reserve, I heard they're not voted on. If they get into power. So, and I don't think people should vote on Supreme Court justices. And, um... Cabinet members, I don't think there was a vote on it. Either, the point is, you need to stop voting, period. Because it's a scam, it just keeps the ruling class in power, and it doesn't really help anything or anyone, except for the ruling class. I think another good method of detoxification would be to stop going to political events, like rallies and cheering for your politicians going, Rah rah rah, as Mark and Rose puts it, for whoever gets to be on the throne and rule over you. Um, another thing to detoxify you from politics is, I guess, if it ever pops up in a conversation with someone that you feel you can trust with having a different opinion than them. I think it'd be okay for you to mention that you're an anarchist, or, or trying to be, if you're, if you're really going down that path, or if you already 
are are finished up, finished with that path, so to speak. If you already are an handicap, I think it'd be if it's with a person you trust, I think it'd be okay for you to very well say, "Hey, I'm an handicap, or I'm an agorus, or agorus capitalist, or voluntarius, voluntarius capitalist, agorus, anarcho capitalist, man cap, anarchist, even." You know, if you're an handicap, well, let them know if you can. You know, I mean, obviously politics is a shaky subject. If you don't feel you can really trust a person by telling about it, don't, obviously, but if you can, then let it rip. You know, tell, let people, don't be in the closet about it. Let people know you can trust that you're an ANCAP. And I think that'd be a great way to detoxify yourself from government because you're spreading the word that government's bad, or at least that you know it's bad, and that you no longer be, want to be a part of a government. You no longer want to rule over people or be ruled by people or have people rule over other people. You know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, if it, if it pops up, you know, tell me your name, Cap, if you can. Um, uh, what, what else? Um... Hmm. I guess stop donating to campaigns or funding campaigns anyway. Like, don't buy campaign merchandise. Like, I voted buttons. That that that's not good. You know, basically means I voted. When you wear a button on your you know whatever part of your chest that says I voted, you're basically wearing something that basically says I submitted. I submitted to a roller. I. I uh, complied, I voted, I submitted. I am a proud subject of a roar. That, that's basically what it means when you put on one of those I voted buttons or I voted stickers or, you know, what have you. You're, you're basically saying you're proud. You're proud to be a subject rather than a free human being. So I advise you to stop buying campaign merchandise or stop putting on those... Stop putting up signs that say... Trump 2024, Kamala Harris 2024. Stop putting up election politician candidate you support signs. Stop putting up those signs, period. Because that means you're proud of being a subject of a ruler, and that's not something good to be. You want to be, well, I want, well, I want you to be, it, you should want to be a free person, and to do that, you pretty much have to be an ANCAP, and at least. Mentally cut all ties to politicians. You, you're at least free in your mind. You at least don't want to be a part of them. You may still have to pay taxes, at least for the time being, in order not to be thrown into a cage. You know, we may have to comply a bit, a bit more, a bit longer, but ultimately you don't want to have to do any of that. You don't want to do any of that and you want to be free. So at least don't buy the campaign merchandise, put it on your lawn, and show how proud you are to be a subject because that is not worth being proud of so yeah <clears throat> so yeah i think basically status need to go through a de st state of vacation detoxification routine or regimen or whatever to stop being state something like that i mean it doesn't need to be like fancy or anything but you know i, I think that'd be helpful you know think about how you can be less of a status and more of an anarchist or ANCAP, of course. So, yeah, I can't really think of any other ways except for like, I guess, I can't think of any other ways to just like stop really feeling the state or supporting the state. I mean, if you want to get into bigger ways to like get rid of the state, you get into like tax evasion or journalism or making these videos, you know, or just, yeah, basically that stuff, or so disobedience. But I mean, I'm mainly just talking about how to basically get out of the status mentality and paradigm. How to really, you know, just be free in your mind at least, and your philosophy at least, and your mentality at least, and just be, be, be free. You know, that's basically what I'm saying. So, yeah, that's all for now. I'll, I'm gonna, you know, turn off the camera. <laughs> Anyways.